Hey friends, we are just back from Whistler, Canada. We had a great time. We did have a great time, and it's been an interesting day. Oh, there's a person walking back there. So there's this idea, this question that I get from a lot of people about whether asset protection planning is allowed, whether it's legal, whether you're breaking any rules, something along those lines. There's this terrible misconception that you're doing something shady when you set up a wonderful asset protection trust, like our prep trust. And today highlight, highlighted how in no way would I ever offer <laughs> something that broke any sort of rule. Colin is such a rule follower. I am the biggest rule follower and it is never more highlighted than we are when we are crossing an international border. And to tell you the truth, I've been thinking about coming back into the US since Wednesday, since I left. I've been planning and making sure that it's all done right. He wants to make sure that I am following all the rules also because sometimes I forget that there are snacks in my bag. So that's, yeah, so <laughs> the challenge for me is one, we're in a trusted traveler program. We don't wanna lose those privileges. It gets us faster border crossing, customs, all that good stuff. But if you're a bad traveler, then you could get kicked out of the program. So I try to make things run as smooth as possible. And Trey is a, a little more willy nilly. <laughs> She's not as worried about um, the rules, and I mean, well, she I doesn't obs she doesn't obsess with them like I do. Yeah, I'm worried about them, but in a very like tangential way, and in a way that I don't actually like look them up. Yeah. Before traveling a lot of times. Yeah. So I I got up and researched this morning the rules for bringing uh, food, beverage, mm -hmm. those sorts of items back into the country. I made sure we were following them. Some people, not Shreya, maybe our friends, maybe not, I'm not gonna say who, said just just go anyway, just don't tell them about it, just take the food. But, but sure insisted. enough, I said no, we will not do that. We are legal all the way. And we got to that border crossing. And Colin, I just have to interject here that it pained me to throw away It's true, food. we threw away food, it was wasted. But, you know, blame Uncle Sam, blame, Uncle you know, Canada Sam? Funk fungus spreading through foods and whatever, whatever the rules are. I'm sure they have them for a reason. Yeah. But we threw good food away, but we did get pulled over at the border. We got our secondary inspection. We had to get out. We had to give them our keys so they could tear through our vehicle, look through our bags, find any sort of snack or food food item that is not allowed and we had nothing to worry about because I'm a big rule follower <laughs> we're not doing anything wrong and they smiled and said have a wonderful day thank you for being such a great trusted traveler yes did they say that Shreya? Uh, I don't know about the trusted traveler part, uh, but they did say thank you I guess I made that up maybe that was in my head that they were like thanks Colin you're wonderful I mean they alluded to it I could see it in their eyes. <laughs> They're like, this guy gets it. So there you have it. I'm a serious rule follower. We don't break the rules around here, around the lay roots. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good policy to have in life. It lets you not, not worry. You know, if you drive the speed limit, you never have to worry about going through a speed trap. Yeah, think about that. All right, that's it. See you later.